Building an audit trail of your network using StealthWatch for continuous network monitoring, historical analysis, and behavior anomaly detection. StealthWatch is made up of three layers. Layer 1 is the flow exporting layer, which consists of routers, switches, and sensors within your network. This layer is basically turning your network into a sensor grid directly. Most modern routers, switches, firewalls, and other infrastructure components have the ability to export flow information to account for packets crossing that particular segment of the network. Layer 2 is the flow collection layer, which consists of collecting flow from your entire network. Without any configuration outside of putting the flow collector in listening mode, flow data is automatically deduplicated and stitched with contextual information. This gives you a continuous stream of network intelligence, and all flow is stored for numerous months. A single flow collector can receive flow from 4,000 flow exporters at 240,000 flows per second. This fits most environments. But if you exceed this capacity, up to 25 flow collectors can report into a single management layer, so a fully deployed solution can scale at 6 million flows per second. Layer 3 is the management and reporting layer. Statistics and summary data is sent to the management layer for security insight and operational reporting. Let's walk through how StealthWatch flow is made up by applying behavioral analytics to raw flow records. Flow is an accounting record that tracks a source IP sending a packet to a destination over a given port and tracks how much traffic is sent. StealthWatch will collect flow from any source that can export standard flow formats and will automatically build conversational records between endpoints by first determining which host is acting as the client and which host is acting as the server in the conversation, and what port they're exchanging data over. State is built to this conversational record to build an audit trail of the network transaction between hosts. As long as these three key fields match, as packets are being exchanged between hosts, StealthWatch will continue to update the flow record. Each exporter that a host passes through on the network will provide additional contextual information as part of the flow export, such as a MAC address or a security group tag within a Cisco TrustSec environment. This added data will be stitched into the conversation to describe how the hosts were communicating. For example, if a host passes through a firewall, the firewall can provide additional information such as the firewall action, permit or deny, the network address translation, the username if the firewall is being used for VPN, or Layer 7 information from certain sources, such as a router running network-based application recognition. StealthWatch supports just about any flow derivative built from NetFlow, IPFIX, or SFlow standards that contains a minimum of source IP and port, whether it be IPv6 or IPv4, destination IP and port, a timestamp, along with byte and packet counts. Although this would be the minimum set of fields, many exporters can include additional context, such as security group tags, network address translation, URL, username, MAC address, layer 7 information, firewall action, the time to live, and quality of service information. Let's walk through an example of where a conversation was built and contextual information stitched in. This is a default function of StealthWatch without any additional configuration. First, we see a conversation started on December 21st at 10.42 a.m. and lasted for about two minutes. Morris was logged in to 10.201.3.64 and connected to 65.55.17.76 over HTTP or TCP port 80. StealthWatch will automatically keep track of how many bytes were exchanged between Morris and the server and how much data was exchanged from the server back to Morris's machine. StealthWatch has the ability to collect identity data from things like Cisco Identity Services Engine, Active Directory, or other authentication servers that can provide a login record with a set of key fields. This data can be stitched into the conversation to track IPs by user and MAC address as well. This conversation passed through several interfaces where additional context was stitched in. It passed through a firewall that permitted the traffic 
and translated the IP address to 209.182.184.7. StealthWatch was able to label the host and what network segments these IP addresses are associated with. StealthWatch can stitch in URL data from sensors or proxy records to correlate URLs that are being accessed between hosts for additional security detection and correlation. Collecting and storing flow records for your entire network builds a strong defense and depth strategy by first having an accountability record of any network conversation.